just going to talk over this um, this workout. Uh, so for me, I actually started off with squats. She did a few squats and then moved on to um, the Smith Machine squats. Um, I've had a bad knee, actually knees, plural, for about 10 days and I hadn't squatted for a while. Actually, I squatted about three days ago uh, and it was really sore so I kind of backed off it. Um, but I hadn't squatted for a while, but today I felt strong. I did 140 for five, 145 for four, 150 for three, 155 for two, and 160 for one. Just a little routine that I made up in my head and thought I'd try. Um, 160 felt all right, so definitely ready to push that a bit heavier for the next time. Um, and then we trained together. This is actually Sammy's program that we followed, so <laughs> she's gonna have to talk over this most, most of this for me. <laughs> this whole workout has really been uh, different for me because the way the reps work and sets work is a bit different so I'll tell you as we go through the exercises. So the first exercise we did together was the standing single leg um, hamstring curls. So what we did is you do as many kind of like warm-up sets uh, until you get to your um, set which you go to failure and then you do two of those. So we did one that was rep range 8 to 10 and the other one was 12 to 15, but you have to go like literally till you're failing. So just to clarify, you do as many warm-up sets as you want. It can be 10, it can be two, it can be one, but then you have two working sets. Uh, yeah. One of eight to 10 reps, one to, what, 12 to 15? Yeah. One 12 to 15 reps. Where the, the 12 to 15, you drop the weight just a bit, um, so you can perform more. But the final rep is failure like complete failure. You could not, if I said 15, you cannot do 16. Yeah, and what you aim to do is each week, you try and, those two working sets, you try and make them heavier each week. So we did that. Then the next exercise we did were split squats, uh, which honestly for me is probably the most hardest exercise. Um, the hardest, not the most hardest. Sorry, the hardest exercise. Um, and he did it using a Smith machine which in a way is easier because you're not yeah. actually using your core really to like stabilize yeah, it yourself. it takes out the balance. Um, yeah, for me, I used um, just plates instead of dumbbells. And yeah, this was, uh, we also did three working sets. Yeah. And, but the reps stayed the same, we just did 12 to 15. I did 12 because honestly for me, it was really difficult. Split squats, absolutely amazing for your glutes and hamstrings. Um, so as soon as you break parallel and really, you want to really sit back, yeah. um, knee should not go over your toe. Um, and as you sit back, it engages those glutes, elongates those hamstrings. Um, and if you extend all the way to the top, you get a good quad pump off it as well. So it's a good full leg movement, but it's a really good target for those hand for those hand for those hand. It's really good for that insertion point as well. Um, so definitely something I'm going to probably put into my routine a bit more because I don't work my glutes directly enough. And it's another thing for to do like single leg stuff. So it works like each leg separately, yeah? Exactly. Um, then after that, we went into wide stance leg press. I did it normally there. I just did okay, it normally. Normal normal normally, stuff. and uh, we did around three warm up sets. Exactly the same method as before three warm up sets, and then we did two sets of one. It was 12 to 15. And the other one, 20 to 30. Yeah. Um, which was actually yeah, also pretty hard because that last that last set when you do 30 reps just kills um, you. Yeah, it just kills you. went into a superset of leg extensions and plyometric split squats so what you do is you have three working sets of leg extensions 12 to 15 reps and then you straight away go into split squats 
where you do 10 to 20 per leg. So that would be either 20 or 40 reps in all. And this is really difficult because even though you're not using any weight, because you just did leg extensions, doing those jumps is really difficult. It's a good explosive movement. Um, you recruit a lot of muscle fibers, especially when you superset. Um, you've already fatigued your quads doing the extensions. Um, and then you go into these uh, kind of split squat uh, plyometrics. Your body is just using as much muscle as it can because it's already exhausted. Um, it's absolutely great exercise. It's, it's also good for time under tension. So it puts your legs under tension for a longer period of time. It's another method you can use um, when you weight lift. So there's the there's a standard tempo training. So, you know, a slow eccentric, fast concentric, or there's putting the time under tension where you can actually do um, a slow concentric and a slow eccentric. Sorry, that's the wrong around. Eccentric and concentric. Um, and this just putting the muscle that needs to be worked under tension for a longer period of time, uh, causing it more stress, causing more kind of yeah. microfiber damage. And the last exercise is calf raises. But we missed it because we ran out of time, so don't blame us. Yeah, but what you would do, what would be good in this session would be to do just three working sets of calf raises where you can vary the machines. Um, and the main thing about calf raises is you need to drive up and squeeze at the top. So it's more of like feeling that muscle. Um, but yeah. That's it. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. And we'll see you guys in the next clip anyway. Peace. Lift going down. Tan room <laughs> Rocking that new Ironworks top. Doors closed. Right Ironworks, obviously. Me and Sammy are just gonna go watch the Jungle Book. Well, I'm gonna get some sushi first. She's not gonna, gonna go get some sushi. Going for the mound for the Mowgli look. She's going for the, the Mowgli look. Door so I'm gonna eat sushi open. and then we're gonna go watch the Jungle Book. <laughs> uh, it's the new one, so if any of you guys have seen it before, comment down below, let me know how it is, and I'll let you know how I think it is. All the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities or Mother Nature's recipes that bring the bare necessities of life. So we just got back from The Jungle Book. It is a sick film. You need to go watch it. We watched it at Everyman Cinema, so it's like um, it's like these sofas you get to sit on. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the film that I showed, but you get these sofas that you sit on, you can order food, you can order drink, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, the film, Jungle Book, highly recommended. Bring back a lot of memories from when I was a kid. Awesome. We are just about <laughs> struggling to put that up. We are just about to go to bed. Um, I've got work early tomorrow, so I've got to leave. Um, thank you guys for getting this far in the video. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.